back it up for the dandy journey long. Your body writing, body writing, your body writing. Oh, you writing, you love it, me love it. You want my wife, set it up now. Come, girl. Take your time with the body, darling. I don't know six hours, because you're back it up. Girl, you are the one. Oh, baby, baby. Girl, you are the one. Your body hot, so you want a sturdy man. Back it up for the dandy journey long. Your body writing, body writing, your body writing. Oh, you're writing. Uh, you love it, me love it. You want my wife in it. Uh, Set it up now. Come, oh, girl. Take your time with the body, darling. Not on a six thirty because you're back in the man. Sit down with me, sit down with me, sit down with me, jockey. Sit down with me, sit down with me, sit down with me, jockey. Back it up with me, for your top. Sexy me love that kick for me slap. Wind up your hip, ride with him for me slap. Put him body, mommy, pose double six, damn it now. Come and open bubble, bubble, quick for me now. Squeeze up me body, muscle grip for me now. Your body pretty like a Hispanic car. Do this for me now, go, go, twist for me, Take your time with the body, darling. Not on a six, don't you make your back in the So you want a sturdy man Back it up for the dandy journey long Your body writing, body writing Your body writing, oh you're writing uh, You love it, me love it You want my wife in it, uh, set it up now Come girl Take your time with the body darling Not a no six stars, you make your back in the Sit down for this, sit down for this, sit down for this Do remember we're here because of Lime. I want to give a shout out to Lime. Do remember thirty dollars or more top up gives you a free phone. We also want to give thanks to our sponsors, Super Value, YCCS, Joma Properties, Honey Westwood and Regals, STO Enterprises, Bucks, Food Market, Roses. Of course, marketing in motion, MIM, easy pay. Pay your bills easier at any right way food market. One in Passy and one in East End. You can pay your digital bill or lime bill.
One. So welcome back to the AO Shelley Recreation Grounds. We are live with the female game. This is an exhibition game between Tortuga and Sister Island Virgin Gorda. Virgin Gorda wearing the bibs. With the ball now is the Foy. One of the Foy sisters. There should be three of them on the field, if I'm not mistaken. All daughters of Gloria Foy or the Virgin Gorda. There's Makeda Foy and Laverne Foy. So, Mark, how do you, what's your take on this one? To me, it seems like the Virgin Gorda girls are a bit more advanced than Tortola girls. Well, the last time the two teams met, the Virgin Gorda girls actually lost to Tortola. Really? Wow. But this being the shorter version of the game, Virgin Gorda may come out. Might, might come out on top. Might they may do. Maybe Mr. Savage missed that game. I did. I, I was sure here did. live. Okay, I sure did miss that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Savage was in New York. <laughs> so it's a corner kick. No, it's a throw in for the total girls. And uh, the danger girl for the Virgin Gorda should certainly be Makeda Foy. She is very aggressive and she's already missed the goal once already from what a 40 yard kick outside. Strong right foot. Brilliant, brilliant. She seems to be a good kick out of the ball. Oh, nice cross there by Tortola. This could be a goal. No, it's out. Virgin Gorda got it out. Tortola is back in it again. Again, the Tortola girls coached by Nabu Samuels. And the Virgin Gorda girls by Zambi. Demins. Yes, Zambi Demins. Zambi Demins. Free kick to Virgin Gala. Once the, as you can see her now, um, Makeda Foy with the ball, once she can be controlled and she, you know, she plays her regular game, I find that Virgin Gala hard to beat. So that's Makeda Foy kicking it out again, number 12. Is she wearing 12? She's the Vern Foy. Yeah, that's Laverne. Laverne Foy is the danger girl. You know? Makeda is the defensive player. This is my first actual ladies' game, watching a ladies' game. Sorry to hear that, um, Mark. So Laverne Foy, the, the danger girl for Virgin Gorda. Have we identified any of the girls from Tortola, Mark? None as yet, none as yet. Check it There's out. a young striker um, for Tortola, I'll tell you her now, who usually scores quite a few good names. She has a Spanish name. I'll find her there for you. Oh, I know Victoria. Parkins, Parkins, Victoria. She's a good midfielder. I've seen her. I've seen her in training. I've seen her playing before. Number five for Tortola.
That's the first half. That's the half. Still all. Nil nil. Nil nil. So at the half, total nil, version goal and nil. And we see in the big picture here of Roy and Chichi Lennon. Chichi, thank you, Mr. Lennon. Thank you. <laughs> they come here, they come in half time now to get a talk from Navo Samuel and, Zambi and Demis. of course Demons. Score is nil nil, Mr. Demons. Score is nil nil. Coming up next. Yeah, coming up next, we're gonna have Saint Lucia against the local boys. Against the local boys, that should be a good. The Virgin game. Islands. Virgin Islands. That should be a good game, and after that, we're gonna have. Well, for Guyana those of you who are wondering, the Virgin Islands have played well. Sorry. Yeah, the Virgin, the Virgin Islands boys played very well. Played very well. I would say uh, that it's the first time in the Nation Cup, even from the last time, that we actually have a BVI team getting involved. Yes, certainly good to see the local boys, and it's a young team. That's a very good sign, coached by Mr. Nabu Samuels. Always good to see the young fellows you know, coming up on the ranks of football. Certainly, I agree with that. And Mr. Demings there taking the Virgin Golden Girls through their paces. We saw one good kick there by Laverne Foy on the left flank. She actually used her right boot, uh, just narrowly missing the, the the left corner of the goal. It wasn't 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 a bad chance at all, but it wasn't a bad opportunity at goal at all. And I'd like to see Mr. Demons uh, encourage Laverne Foy to take some more shots. Lovely. You're, you're lobbying for... Uh, I am lobbying for Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Demings to have Laverne to take some more shots. Like, you love for Mr. Foyen. Uh, I love for Mr. Garnet Ferrer, but, he, but the Jamaicans sure. seemed to feel otherwise, and obviously we can see the end results. He was called, uh, didn't return the call, I don't know if he's on island, uh, I haven't seen Well, him. you know, they say once you try once, try again. So you tried once? More than once, twice. Four times twice. Yeah, left a message. And you left a message. Well. And he didn't call that. Hard luck, next one. Next time. Yeah. Certainly hard luck for the Jamaican side. Very tough luck, very tough luck. Consequently, the Jamaicans, I don't think have won a game today. Yeah, you know, they, they, they came out confident, um, but on the field of play, I guess, they didn't show that dominant. Well, we have a young man we can now interview. Uh, he'll be playing next, young Devon. Sure, young Devon, how you feel coming up against St. Lucia? Well, we are very confident because we've been playing confident all day. So I think we are very confident going up against St. Lucia. Hope to give them a run for their money and come up victorious. What about uh, if it comes out to penalty shots? What do you think will be the chances for the BBI team? Well, like I said, um, confidence is running very high in our team. So I think once we, if it goes on penalty and, and, we, uh, and we have the opportunity to do that, then we could definitely come up victorious. Of course, you guys also did miss one of your penalties. You have to talk about that with the team. Well, as, as it goes, you know, the ball is wrong, so um, not, not every opportunity that you take will go in. So unfortunately, I was on the, on the end of um, one of those opportunities and it didn't go in, but we were lucky enough to concede our other four goals and come up victorious. Certainly, you did win by four goals to two. But let's remember that the ball is round and the, the goal, the goal right. is pretty big. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so it's a penalty. We'll expect to see the, the local boys uh, getting it in the back of the net. Well, um, like I said, confidence is running pretty high. And once, well, we're hoping that it doesn't come down to that and we could put one in the back of the net as we've been having numerous opportunities to do so. And we could make those opportunities come this time around and come up with us without going to the penalty. Who are the young strikers that we can look for on the Virgin Islands team for, um, for the fans? You can look for myself, you can look for... Nomi myself? Yes, so, so, so what the, 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 the fans look for myself? Um, number 17, Devon, Devon Latin. You can look for um, Jamie. You can look for um, our attacking mid, midfielders, Carlos. 
Septus, um, Troy Caesar, who's been doing very well as well. So I think we do have a good chance of um, coming out victorious in the next game. What is the word on the other young Septus player? Will he be allowed to play in the, um, in the final game? Well, as the rules go, once you receive a um, red card in a game, you'll miss the next game automatically. So he would be sitting out the next game against St. Lucia and hopefully play the other one against Sam. Now, let's be the devil's advocate here. Should you defeat St. Lucia, where does that now place you in the tournament? Um, should we defeat St. Lucia, um, I think that put us pretty good in the standing as um, in case we do have a tie, we'll hold a um, tie breaker against St. Lucia. And I think that would put us in second place. So they, rather than St. Vincent, it would be the BVI and uh, St. Lucia in the finals? Um, well, I think so because St. Vincent would have the type, no, St. Lucia would have the break against St. Vincent, so then St. Vincent would vote ourselves and um, St. Lucia would advance. Well, presently only St. Lucia have won two games. Right, they haven't lost any game as yet, and they're doing quite well. They have looked, they have come as the underdog, and they have taken... They have taken every, every opportunity that, that they have got. So this really, this upcoming game really is, it's could be important. deep as a championship game? Very, that's right. It, it could be a, um, a preview of, of the, the final. Of the final. Yeah. Especially if you defeat them. Especially if we defeat them. So this is, this is big for the, for, for the Virgin Islands. That's right. And once again, confidence is running very high in our team. And we're looking to do well against the solution team. Well, Devon, we wish you all the best. And we look forward to seeing you back in the commentary if you lose if you win then we'll obviously expect you to be focusing on your your next round which will be the finals that's right well but when I will lose a draw i'll be here with you guys and looking forward to be here All right well for the folks who are wondering um Devin has been on the commentary team with myself and mark savage yes back back to the game at hand the female game and we are back into the second half total versus virgin god we want to we thank had, young Devin of the virgin islands we had a throw in by Marcel a while ago, had an attack close to goal, but it was played out of touch. You know, it's a goal kick to Virgin Garda. And we'll be, we'll be looking for young Laverne Ford to see if she can find the back of the net. She certainly will, is the class player on the field, the daughter of Gloria Ford. Very good defensive and offensive player. I've been observing her play, and the challenge has been that she she sweeps, but sometimes she over sweeps, which means that she tend to follow the ball too much. Virgin Garda under attack, oh, ball booted out. Victoria Perkins on the ball. So the girls are too key to retrieve their own ball. Thankfully for one of the Guyanese teams to solve that problem. Marcella comes for the throw. Because she's going to try to find Victoria. So number 13 in middle throw. Yeah, she's going to try to find Good Victoria. clean throw there. At least they've been taught properly. Yeah? yeah, she certainly had a good coach. Well, Nabu Samuels tends to coach his girls quite well. So the ball is going to touch on the left side. It's nil-nil. We're still looking for a winner. It'll be a throw-in for Virgin Gordon. A little bit of a fall throw to me a while ago. So the ball has spent much of the time in the midfield, Mark. It has, it has. It hasn't come from the midfield at all. That's usually a sign that, that both teams are pretty evenly matched. One could say that, yes, but that Virgin got almost got through a while ago, but it was a handball. Like I said before, I'd like to see young Laverne Foy take a few more shots at goal. Well, I think she's here right now about to take one. Let's see what she's going to do with it. Well, she certainly is. She settles now. We're using her left boots, showing her ability to the diversify there, Mark. Using both legs. It looks as if it's going to be a left boot. She's certainly shaped to her left foot. Certainly to the left foot, curling in. Headed out. 
I thought all the team. And the last one she took in the first half of the window, right boot. Yeah. Here again. Oh, that's a little bit of a version. Go on now. Who is the score? 100 player. Trying to see who scored. We're looking to see who's, who's been hopped up there, who's jumping up. Trying to see who was the goal scorer there, the young lady on the left side. Well, certainly Virgin Gorda finally found the back of the net. It's 1 0 to Virgin Gorda. Getting their revenge on the last time they met this Tortola team? That's true. As you, as you said, uh, Tortola won. And I've seen the game so far today that Virgin Gold looked to be on the beat to me. So we have been told now that the young lady from Virgin Gorda who scored, That's her name. She's getting her name, was number 14, Sally St. Catherine. Sally St. Catherine, okay. Sally St. Catherine. So they're wondering whether she's from St. Catherine in Jamaica. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Sounds like she's certainly fine in the back of the goal, like some of the Jamaicans, not the ones we have here. Though. Doesn't look so. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. Stick around. Coming up, we have the guys playing again after this. Saint Lucia coming up against the BVI boys. Should so be a very game. So the Virgin Islands will try their skills against a very powerful St. Lucian team. Yes, very powerful St. Lucian team. These guys came and show that they come to win this money. They certainly have come and, uh, you know, it's the St. Lucians, um, I understand all of the players uh, from, came from over the waters. So they'll be looking for that money to pay for their trip back. Uh, <laughs> probably, <laughs> more than likely. So they need to win. So anything you want to remind the folks about the line? Pardon me? Do you remember to tap up a line, $30 or more gives you a free phone and a free dunga. Dungle, free dungle, $30 or more. You, yeah, you can get internet from the dungle. Yeah, yeah, you can get internet from the dungle. $30 you have more to come up with more than $30, but you can certainly get in there. You still get in there, but you don't know. The Virgin Ball on the attack again. Under. Can they make it 2 0? Can they get the revenge? Going forward still. Okay. No. She was stopped in her tracks. So the Port Holland girl is not looking so effective today. No, Virgin Girl seems more dominant from the first half. And there's a big cheer from the Port Holland girls. Substitution being made here. For Virgin Gorda. In goes number 18. No, number 18. No, that was a change there. Number 10. Number 10 went in. That's Ashley Barker for Virgin Boyle. And a miss kick there by the defender. And Virgin Guard is on the attack. Oh dear, is that Laverne no. Foy there? Virgin got on the attack again. Good cross. These girls are quite aggressive, man. These girls are playing some pretty tough football. No love lost here. No love lost here at all. 
I'm not afraid to tackle at all. Down the right flank. And that's the final whistle, was it? No. Oh, no. I saw the referee looking at his watch. <laughs> Someone is blowing the whistle. Yeah. And Mark, it fooled, it fooled us, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> Virgin all is through again. Who's oh, got second goal? No. Good defense there by Toto. It's a corner. It's a corner. It's a corner for Virgin Gardens. The Virgin Gardens were crying for the goal. You heard them. See the BVVI boys in the side warming up, getting ready, putting on the game. They've got a big game coming up. It's another corner for Persian Garda. Laverne Fire about to kick it over. <laughs> Substitutions being made. <laughs> and a square corner kicked outside on the side netting by Laverne Fire. So we're going back to a spot kick for, for Tortola. The ball's being kicked out by the defender. The high boot up. Ball bounces once. Virgin Gala back in control again. Tortola. A kick at goal, but the goalkeeper has come to retrieve the ball. And a kick out by the goalkeeper. Virgin Garda controls, but back to Tortola again. Victoria Perkins. Victoria Perkins goes out for a throw. Marcella with a throw in for Virgin Garda. Kick out, clear by Virgin Gala. Another throw in for Tortola. Over. Headed out by the defender for Virgin Gala. So we have a corner kick now for Tortola being kicked by Marcella. Spots the ball. She takes it up. She spots it again. Let's see if Tortola can equalize. A beautiful square win by Tortola. Nobody there at the end of it. Tortola still in control. It's a throw in to Virgin Gala. And Mark is sort of tapering down now and looking like it's going to be a one nil finish here. It looks so like Virgin Gala take this one home. Just, just a minute or two to go. And the Portolans really haven't had a great impact on the, the Virgin, Virgin Gala offense. Of course, there are lots of very strong players. Like I said, the Foy sisters. We saw Barker just come on here. There's also McMaster. Laverne. Uh, you know, and there's Thomas. There's quite a few strong players in St. Thomas um, and, and, and Virgin Gordon. You know, of course, Sally said Catherine, who scored the goal, and Tamara Scott, all very good players. So they've got a strong, well rounded team, have Virgin Gordon. And in fact, I was quite surprised to see them lose to Tortola, you know, a few months ago. Tortola in attack. Tortola on the so attack. there's a number 10 for Tortola, who I was telling you about, who is their main striker. And 
Jamar on Kia Palmer. So that's Kia Palmer. And here goes Virgin Brother again in the Danger Lady herself. That's the Danger Lady herself, number 12. She owns oh, no, number 15, in fact. Number five, that's her sister. Cross it in. What is a man with a goal? That is a goal. That is a sister. Number five. I will tell you her name now, and I think that it's correct. That's the other sister, Makeda Foy. So the two Foy sisters, Shamena, that was Makeda Foy across on the right flank, crossed it in over the keeper's head. And tremendous work there, Makeda Foy, high fives all around. Classy, classy. At any level, that was tremendous. Great work there by Makeda Foy, following the footsteps of her sister, Laverne Foy. So the Foy girls really spectacular, and that really is the icing on the cake, Mark. Yes, I think so. That's going to be the icing on the cake for a Virgin Girl. They're going to take this one home. And certainly, I think it's seconds now before the game is blown off. One minute. I saw the referee signaling one to his... That was a tremendous his... shot there by Makeda Foy. No, we mentioned her earlier. Could it be an equalizer? Could it be a one back? Could I get one back? Good defense. Oh, great defensive work there. By Virgin Gahada. Great defensive work there, Mark. Great defensive work. Stood up on our ball. Substitution being made here by Virgin Gala. Giving other players a run. So with just seconds left in the game, we see Lakeisha Foy, the star player, coming off. And on comes the number four player for Virgin Gorda, Tanya Thomas. Tanya Thomas. That's Miss Thomas. Otherwise known as Chin. So Miss Thomas on for star player there. And there you go. There's the end of the game. Virgin Gorda. Virgin Gorda have won, and Miss Thomas got the pleasure of putting her foot on the field. And we see the Virgin Island brought in young John. Two goals to nil, Virgin Gorda. And this should be a very interesting gaming team for the boys in green. Against St. Lucia. So I'm thinking maybe we should play the territorial song before this game. <laughs> or ask Miss Herbert to come and sing. We could get Miss Herbert to sing. Yeah. Is she available? I'm not sure. Miss Herbert, you're needed in the front. St. Lucia, you're up next to play against BVI. St. Lucia. So can Nabu make it wild of two? Tremendous play there by Makeda Foy with a lovely right booter. That was a great cross. And of course, Laverne Foy also quite impressive. And young Sally St. Catherine scoring the first goal. Good performance there by the Virgin Gorda girls. And they will catch the boat in a pretty good mood. They will return home pretty excited. There we see Makeda Foy. So Makeda Foy being interviewed by Dean, the sportsman, Winoy. We maybe try and get a mic. So we're going to try and get into that interview with Dean, the sportsman, Winoy, and Makeda, who scored the second goal.